Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today I'm going to show you guys how to design your first project either in Make It Software or a more advanced version outside of that using Illustrator or Inkscape. In today's video, I'm going to be using Illustrator because that's what I have. Inkscape is a free version that you can download online if you want to. But with that said, let's start it off with the Make It Software that you already have here. So this is a keychain here that I made within Illustrator. As you notice, there are rounded corners. You're not really going to be able to do that within the Make It software. The Make It software is pretty uh, basic to start off with, but to get this same effect here, you can go ahead and click on Rectangle, and then you can draw out like a rectangle. So we're going to draw out that rectangle here, and then we're going to use a circle. We'll draw a circle on the board, and then you can always adjust this based on its size. Let's go with a point two um by point two here there we go so that should be big enough for our key ch chain hole here um and we can also shrink this down this is probably a very large key chain here so we can shrink this down and kind of line these up and make sure they're centered like that so right there is basically the foundation for that key chain here so you have the option to highlight this you can subtract um, like you can in Illustrator here. Um, that way it punches that hole out. So if you need to fill this, you can fill that. And then they should both be together now whenever you do that merger tool. Um, with that said, you basically have the foundation set. So let me zoom in a little bit. Now all we need to do is add our text. So we can add text. Um, if you don't have precise vector path turned on, um, like I don't have it turned on on this computer, you can't be able to click inside here. If you turn that on, you should be able to click inside here, which will make it easier. But for now, we'll click down here and we'll type out our text. So we're going to type out fresh start customs. And then um, you can edit your text afterwards. So what you need to do is select your text here and then you can edit like centering there. Um, you can change your fonts over here. We're going to just leave it the same. And then we can click on fill engrave and it's ready to engrave. So I'm going to shrink this down to size and then we'll drop it right on our keychain. And then once that prints off, um, it's going to look something like this, but it will have the sharp corners. So now that you know how to do your first uh, one in here, uh, we're going to jump back over to Illustrator and then we're going to do a couple more advanced keychains as well and showing you how to do these corners too. But we're going to show you a more expansive thing that you can do within Illustrator as well. And then I'll show you kind of a basic form of how you can do an advanced keychain within Make It. So we're going to jump back and forth here. So as you can see, we got that same keychain here just to show you what it looks like. We're going to recreate that. What we want to do is we want to grab our rectangle tool here. Um, and we can expand this and drag it out and make it as big as we want. And then what we want to do is make this into a cut line versus a fill, and it'll look like this. So once you have the rectangular drawed out like we did before, all you got to do is grab on the little corner section here and pull that in. We'll pull it into about there. And then now we can come back over to our rectangle tool and then go down to the ellipse tool and then drag and hold shift to create a circle. So we'll go ahead and go about this size. We'll just call that good. And then we'll line it up here. If you need help aligning this, you can go to Window, and then you can go to the Align tab, and that will pull up this tab over here. And you can actually align this to make sure it's centered, but I already had it centered there. And then you can do the same thing, Window, and then scroll down and find Pathfinder, and it'll open this window right here. And we can subtract the two design so it does this punch hole here. We're going to subtract that. It's now punched out. I know nothing really changed here. It's hard to see. But if I change this back to a fill, um, there will be that punch hole here. So that's how you know. Um, you don't have to do that technically. It'll do it as two separate cuts. But I like to do that just so they're together versus um, separate. And then now all we need to do is add our text like before. Um, we'll just click in there and then type out Fresh Start Customs again. 
And then um, I already have it centered, but if you have to center it, you can do that up here and then you can change your fonts just like before. And then you just drag this up like this. And then one last step that you have to do here just to make sure everything's correct You'll click on type when you have your uh, letters selected and click create outlines. What that does is that turns this into a vector that can engrave properly versus like a rasterized text. And then you're good to go. You can actually export this and then import it into the Make It software to print your uh, brand new keychain. Um, I'll go ahead and throw some links down below to where I get my keychains at so you can see what those look like as well. You just uh, fold it over and crimp them on and then you have like those little dangling, dangling keychains. Um, so you can add that. Now let's go a little bit more advanced. Let's say you want to start completely fresh and then you want to make like a snowman keychain. So you can click on your little ellipse tool here. And then before, uh, like like before, you just hold down shift and you can drag this out. Uh, we're gonna change it to a cut path again. And um, then you'll click hold, hold shift and then drag another one out. We'll make it a little bit bigger this time. And then one more time, we'll make it even bigger. And we'll call that good. And we're gonna just kinda align these like this. And then we'll make sure they're aligned with that align tool again, just like that. And now, once you have them all aligned, what you need to do is you need to merge these together. So with Pathfinder again, we're going to click Unite here. And it's going to unite them all together. And you now have the basis of a snowman. At this point, you can take the time, draw out a face with like the circles, um, uh, you, uh, the pen tool. However you want to draw this out, I'm going to save some time and not fill this out. But... Let's say you want to create the outside of this now and you want this to be just like a score. What you can do is you can change the color of this to like blue. I always use blue for score. And then we can create the outside by going to object, path, and then um, offset path here. So as you can see, there's now an offset path around this. You can make this as big or little as you want. So we can go up a little bit higher if we want to, to make that a bigger outside. Um, and then what we can do is we can change that to red for a cut line. So now that we have the red cut line on the outside here and then the blue score on the inside, our snowman will score. And then in the inside here, you'll have the engravings that you created earlier I talked about. And then we can even click on the little circle tool, draw it one more time up top here like this. Um, and then we'll just make sure everything's aligned by highlighting them and clicking the align. And then what we want to do is we actually want to change this to red as well. And we're going to highlight both the top line and the circle. And then we're going to go back to Pathfinder and we're going to unite that to together. So now that it's united, we now have a top part and we got one last circle to add just like this. Um, and then we can move that into the center of here like that and we can subtract that from the uh, outside and you now have a nice little snowman keychain um, so let me quickly show you guys how to do that within make it software too um, this is going to be a little bit different on the, the make it software um, so same concept we're going to click on circle We'll hold down shift and draw out a circle and then we're going to click on circle again, hold down shift and draw out a bigger circle, click on circle again, shift and then the largest circle. So now that we have all three circles created, what we want to do is go up to align, center those up and then we'll go to merge and then merge the graphic shapes. We now have our snowman, you can draw out the face just like before. And then on this one, the offset button is right here. So we're gonna click offset. You have a nice little sc scaler that you can slide up and down, just like that. And then we're gonna click confirm. Uh, now that you have that, you have your two separate lines, just like before. So same concept, grab the circle one more time, highlight it, bring it up here, make sure everything's aligned again. We're going to align to center, and then we're going to do this one in this top circle, merge, and then lastly, we're going to do a circle one more time, just like this, and we're going to drag it in the center of this here, um, if I can align it, 
whoops. Let me go ahead and just highlight it all and we'll align it that way. It'll make it easier. There we go. And then um, we can highlight both the top and bottom and subtract that circle out. So we now have that good to go. But one last thing that you have to do is make sure you make the outside a cut. And then the inside is going to stay that orange, which is the fill engrave there, or line engrave. And that's just based on the color I have selected. But you can change it to any color you want. So if you want it to be blue, you can click on blue like we did before in Illustrator. And that is pretty much it, you guys. Hopefully, uh, I went quick enough but slow enough that you understood all of that. You can rewind, pause, um, ask any questions down in the comments below that you might have. But I hope you guys enjoy making the keychains. I hope you guys enjoy this little series that I put together. And hopefully, you found some value out of it. Um, other than that, if you guys have any questions, let me know, and we'll talk to you guys later.